And check out the view from the CTV Skywatch camera looking south on 13th Street North. Lots of sunshine today. It was a little cloudy earlier today and there was some reports of some scattered showers early, early in the morning hours, but it cleared out nicely. 25 degrees is where we're at. Uh, our daytime high was 26 and we hit that at 2 o'clock this afternoon and our low was 11 degrees at 7 a.m. this morning. So we had a very mild overnight temperatures as well. Our winds are almost non-existent right now. Very, very calm. We've got very nice temperatures temperatures all over the province. Average for Lethbridge is 21 degrees. So of course we're definitely above that right now and we will continue to remain in those above average temperatures as we head into the rest of the work week. The reason being this is where all the heat is coming from. Big area of high pressure is really dominating all of Western Canada, uh, the central and southern uh, locations for sure. And then as this ridge of high pressure continues to build and push eastward. It's going to push all this debris uh, further east as well. And you saw on the radar map there uh, that active weather that was in southern Saskatchewan. Well, that's what blew through uh, Alberta this morning. Our winds were elevated at uh, certain periods of time in the morning, but all that has been compressed into southern Saskatchewan. Now, they were expecting to see some thunderstorm activity in the evening hours. Uh, those warnings and watches have all ended right now, but uh, further east into Winnipeg, they could see some of that active weather overnight tonight. Now in the forecast are indicating just those pockets uh, still existing in the higher elevations, still probable for seeing maybe the odd scattered shower tonight. But as we get into tomorrow and the ensuing days, we're going to be seeing very, very little activity, maybe just some high thin cloud for the most part. And lots of sunshine is going to be the menu for all areas right from the BC coast uh, all the way to the Manitoba, Ontario border. Now, having said that, areas in Ontario and then through uh, Quebec and into the Maritimes. An extended trough, uh, a west to east trough with quite a bit of uh, precipitation attached to it, but no warnings there either. But it's going to make for some variable days, some sun and cloud, and then the odd scattered shower day. 19 degrees in Winnipeg. As I said, they could be seeing a thunder shower tonight. That's ended for Regina and Saskatoon. 22 degrees in Edmonton. 26 in Kelowna. Beautiful sun and cloud mix on the coast in Vancouver and Victoria. And up north, even though the cloud is being sort of deflected to the north, they managed to see some sunshine in both of those uh, northern areas, Yellowknife and Whitehorse this afternoon. East Kootenay looking at mainly clear skies tonight. 11 for a low, 24 for a daytime high. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine in your forecast for the Crow's Nest Pass. Mainly clear tonight, especially after midnight. 10 for a low, 24 for a high. Tomorrow, lots of sunshine for you as well. Into Medicine Hat looking at after midnight, really clear skies. Uh, and then uh, 27 for a high tomorrow after a low of 9 tonight. And then for Lethbridge, we're looking at sunny, 27 Seven degrees for a daytime high tomorrow, not too windy tomorrow as well. So very pleasant conditions and where you see the five day forecast for Lethbridge. And really you folks in Medicine Hat are looking at a very similar forecast, uh, Pincher Creek, uh, even into East Kootenay looking at very nice conditions for the next few days. So this forecast, five day forecast really, uh, you know, applies to a lot of our forecast areas. Temperatures, look at that, temperatures in the mid to high 20s for the next several days due to that area of high pressure. Here's the record temperatures for the next few days as well. Well, and we really can't envy anything there because we've got our own nice temperatures. And look at the most recent one from 2011, 31 degrees. That was a real warm one. So we are looking at close to these temperatures over the next few days. So enjoy it while it lasts because, you know, summer is ticking away. That's it for me. Talk to you tomorrow morning on Facebook and Twitter.